With this asset, you can easily make a fade in fade out effect in Unity. In the corner, I leave you a link to my website where you can download this Unity package. Inside the package, we have two scripts. This one controls the system, and this other script is an example of how you could activate the effect. Because you will have to write your own script to activate the effect when you need it. So here you have an example. This prefab has to be placed as a child of a canvas. It can be the canvas you are already using or create a new canvas. And here in the scene, everything is already assembled. I open the scene and press play. Here, as we see, the screen automatically fades out when it starts. Let's look at the basics of this solution. These are the parameters that can be configured. Here, the first option we have is play on awake, a Boolean variable. If we disable this function, enter the play mode, the effect doesn't activate automatically. I included play on awake to be able to activate the effect by code, so you can leave it checked for now. Then we have two colors, the first and the last. These colors are the ones that are going to be applied to the image. For example, let's set white transparent as the initial color and red for the final color. The transition will be between those two colors. Of course, you can also use images for the transition. Here you can place an image. I would set both colors as white, but the first one completely transparent. And now the effect looks like this. Moving on to the next value, time effect is the time it takes for the image to go from the first color to the last color, in this case one second. This initial delay is the time the script waits from when the object is activated until the effect finally takes place. If I set one second, I activate the object, the script waits one second and then makes the transition. Then we have this first to last variable that allows us to reverse the order of these colors, if it's true. The image will go from the first color to the last, but if we uncheck this variable, it does the opposite. Notice how it starts in black and becomes transparent. This ping pong variable makes the image go from the first color to the last, and then from the last to the first. It's much simpler to watch it. The image goes from transparent to black, and then from black to transparent. This ping pong delay is the time between the two transitions, if I write one second and activate the effect, in the middle, the script waits a second and then make the transition from the last to the first. Then we have this bool variable, disabled when finished. If checked, when the effect finishes, the game object is automatically disabled. Note here is enabled, when the effect finishes, the object is turned off. Finally, this disable delay is the time the script will wait from the end of the effect to finally disable the game object. Check it out. The effect ends, wait 2 seconds, and then disable the object. Now, let's see how you could use this effect in a script. For example, when the character dies, instead of automatically loading the scene, what you could do is fade out the screen, wait a little while, and then load the scene. To use the effect, we will need a control script. Inside, we define a reference for a game object. Here I define it, public game object fade effect. This script will be assigned in a game object in the hierarchy, in my case here. Notice how in the inspector appears that reference of the fade effect game object, because we define it as public. So we are going to take the prefab of the effect and drag it to this field. And whenever you want to use the effect, you have to execute this instruction. Fade effect dot set active and between parentheses true. This instruction is exactly equivalent to check this box. And where do we use this instruction? Well, that will depend on what you need. Here I'm reading the spacebar, and if you press it, I execute the instruction, but this is just an example. So let's try it. In the play mode, I press the spacebar. Notice that the object was activated, but the transition didn't happen. Well, this is because I forgot to check the play on away box. So leave the play mode, check the play on away box, and enter again. Now, when pressing the spacebar, the effect is performed. Simply by executing the instruction that activates the game object. Note that if I press the spacebar again, nothing happens, because we are activating the object, but the object is already activated. Then the effect does not happen. The disable when finished variable was for this. I check that box, press the spacebar, and when the effect ends, the object is automatically disabled. This allows us to reuse the effect several times. That's all I wanted to show you, hope you find it useful, and see you next time.